Hello guys, this is Wafa, and I'm a neurology doctor, and I'm sharing with you some survival neuroimaging tips. Um, I would like to share with you that you need to look at the tentorium, and and actually it's really difficult to look at the tentorium in the axial usual planes that we that we use. Um, here is a chappy with a subdural hematoma. It's very subtle, and unless you know where to expect the tentorium is, it's very difficult to see. So here is a slightly hyper density in this non-contrast CT that is present in multiple slices for a guy presenting with a confusion. He is on anticoagulation. And here you can see the tentorial attachment to the clinoidal process. This is a very sharp free margin of the tentorium where pathology is coming uh, up from the uh, infratentoria fossa can squeeze itself and also the temporal lobe can herniate through this free margin and compress the brainstem. For the tentorium to be able to see it nicely you need to swap the axial planes to another. Ideally this should be the coronal plane. Here this is the same gentleman with a clear hyperdensity on the right leaflet of the tentorium compared to the uh, left normal left one so here is this is a, a subdural hematoma uh, involving the tentorium i used to mix this the, in the early days with subarachnoid hemorrhage so may, please make sure that you don't mix this with a subarachnoid hemorrhage